This is the Channel 6 Television Community News Update. First up, we have some local police department news. On February the 2nd, around 7.47 a.m., deputies from the Nelson County Sheriff's Office, along with Nelson County EMS, responded to the area of 4770 Potter Shop Road in reference to an injury accident. On the scene, it was discovered that a red 1999 Chevy S10 pickup had been traveling eastbound and was traveling off the right shoulder of the roadway into a tree line. The operator, 37-year-old David Lydian of Bardstown, had been able to get out of the badly damaged vehicle and was lying on the opposite side of the road with a serious injury to his leg. After further investigation, it was discovered that Mr. Lydian had been consuming alcohol prior to the accident and the vehicle was stolen. The vehicle driven by Mr. Lydian had been reported stolen at 7.31 a.m. earlier that day in the area of Honeysuckle Lane. The vehicle had been started to warm up due to the cold temperatures, and when the resident came back out, the vehicle was gone. Bardstown Police investigated the theft. The Nelson County Sheriff's Office has several charges forthcoming. Deputy Aaron McCubbin is the investigating deputy. On February 1st, a fire was reported at 65 Arnold Lane in Bloomfield, Kentucky. The Nelson County Sheriff's Office followed up with the case, and on February 2nd, deputies were made aware that some of the contents of the destroyed building were located in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. After further investigation, deputies and detectives found the suspects staying in a makeshift tent in a wooded area near Wickland Avenue in Bardstown. The suspect, who has identified as Nicholas E. Bellevue of Bardstown, was arrested for burglary in the third degree. The case included the fire, and that is still under investigation at this time. We have some Marion County Sheriff's Department news. On February the 2nd, at 8.35 p.m., deputies with the Marion County Sheriff's Office arrested Thomas R. Yoakum, age 36, of Bardstown, and lodged him in the Marion County Detention Center on charges of possession of marijuana, possession of a controlled substance being cocaine, possession of a controlled substance being methamphetamines, and reckless driving. The arrest resulted from a traffic stop when Mr. Yoakum was observed driving recklessly on Highway 52 in the St. Francis community. On February 4th at 12.09 a.m., deputies with the Marion County Sheriff's Office arrested Sean A. Tungett, age 46, of Owensboro, on charges of possession of marijuana, possession of a controlled substance, being methamphetamines, possession of drug paraphernalia, no brake lights, no registration plates, no insurance, and no registration receipt. Also arrested was Tracy C. Tungett, age 45, also of Owensboro, on charges of possession of marijuana, possession of a controlled substance, being methamphetamines, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Both were lodged in the Marion County Detention Center. The arrest results from a traffic stop when Mr. Tungett was observed operating a vehicle with no brake lights on Highway 337 near Braffordsville. A positive indication on the vehicle by the Sheriff's Office canine resulted in the discovery of illegal drugs within the vehicle. On February 4th at 1.58 a.m., the Kentucky State Police requested assistance from a trooper that was in pursuit of a white GMC on Highway 289 in Marion County. As the pursuit continued, Responding deputies with the Marion County Sheriff's Office were able to deploy strips at the intersection of Highway 52 and St. Francis Raywick Road. The white GMC, traveling a short distance onto St. Francis Raywick Road after its tires became disabled from the spike strip, and at that point, Kentucky State Police took the occupant of the vehicle into custody for investigation. We also have some Lebanon Police news for you here on Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television. Margaret C. Amon of East Main Street in Lebanon, Kentucky was arrested on February the 1st and charged with theft by unlawful taking under $500 shoplifting, a Marion County warrant for failure to appear, and a Taylor County warrant for failure to appear. The theft was at Norby's on Lebanon, at Lebanon Trade Center in Lebanon. $75.42 worth of merchandise was stolen, but it was recovered and retained by the victim in that case. Sarah Marie Teal of Sullivan School Road in Camelsville, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 1st and charged with theft by unlawful taking under $500 shoplifting 
for taking $19.97 worth of merchandise from the Walmart on the Camelsville Highway in Lebanon. The items were recovered and retained by the victim. Timothy L. Brarin of Goff Way in Lebanon, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 1st and charged with assault and the 4th domestic violence. The victim received minor injuries, but no medical attention was needed. Stuart K. Brady of Camelsville Road in Lebanon, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd in the Springview Hospital parking lot and charged with possession of a controlled substance in the 1st, being heroin, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Jacob M. Linton of Icetown Road in Boston, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd and charged with possession of a controlled substance in the 3rd, possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, and promoting contraband in the 1st. Scott J. Lucas of McCubbins Lane in Bardstown, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd in the Springview Hospital parking lot and charged with possession of a controlled substance in the 1st, being heroin, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Samuel I. Mudd of Roundtree Court in Lebanon, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd and charged with giving an officer a false name or address, possession of a controlled substance in the 1st, being methamphetamines, and a Marion County warrant for failure to appear. Brian Settles of East Main Street in Lebanon, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd and charged with not having or having expired Kentucky registration plates, operating on a suspended or revoked operator's license, possession of a controlled substance in the 1st, being methamphetamines, and promoting contraband in the 1st. James M. Bradshaw of Gray Street in Lebanon, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd and charged with possession of a controlled substance in the 1st, being methamphetamines, and with possession of drug paraphernalia. Gregory A. Lee of Salt Lake Road in Raywick, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd and charged with possession of a controlled substance in the 1st, being methamphetamines, possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of marijuana. Tosha R. Roller of Elm Street in Lebanon, Kentucky, was arrested on February the 2nd and charged with possession of a controlled substance in the 1st, methamphetamines, possession of drug paraphernalia, and with possession of marijuana. And the city of Bardstown is looking for the public's help to help identify the subject in the picture you see. This was with regard to a theft at the Walmart in Bardstown. If you have any information, you're asked to please contact the Bardstown Police Department at 502-348-6811. And the Bardstown Police Department is pleased to announce their newest police officer, Matt Glass. Glass is seen here in the picture with Bardstown Mayor Dick Heaton. He is the in his 22nd year as a law enforcement officer, and he retired from the Louisville Metro Police Department in 2016 as a commanding officer. His background includes experience in investigations, patrol, training, and was also a member of the Dignity Protection Team. So congratulations to the newest Bardstown police officer, Officer Matt Glass.